Hi, this is Dennis from Accurate. One of the major systems of your vehicle that needs to be maintained is the engine cooling system. Of course, we flow water through the engine block to take away the excess heat that was produced from combustion. But there's some things that need to be done with that water to make sure that it works appropriately. And that is, we need to put some antifreeze in, the, in that water. Uh, the antifreeze serves to keep the engine from, from freezing solid in the cold temperatures. Antifreeze mixed properly can protect the engine down to about 35 degrees below zero. But that antifreeze has another purpose as well. Is when the weather gets warm, it allows the, boil, the, the water in the radiator to achieve a higher boiling point. So that instead of boiling at 212, it might carry that temperature all the way to 265 or 275 degrees. When we take care of the cooling system, we need to check the quality of the antifreeze coolant in the radiator. We do that initially with what we call a pH strip, where we check the pH and acid balance um, of the fluid to make sure that it's not going acidic. As the coolant wears out, it becomes acidic, and then it starts to attack the seals and important parts of the motor. The other thing that coolant does, though, is that it provides lubrication. It's, if you've ever had coolant on your fingers, it's kind of sticky, greasy. It provides lubrication to the water pump that circulates water through the motor. We can tell if coolant is acidic by checking the pH. But by checking the pH, we can't tell that the coolant is actually able to continue to lubricate, that it isn't worn out, basically. For that reason, the engine manufacturers, the car manufacturers, have set a, an interval at which the coolant should be changed. On this vehicle, it's about 60,000 miles. So that after 60,000 miles, what we should do is we should go in and we should remove the coolant from the radiator. We should refill it with water along with a cleaning solution and then run the vehicle to clean out all the water passages inside the engine. We drain that cleaner solution out and then refill with fresh coolant. Coolant comes in two different forms. It might come in a fully concentrated form that has to be mixed with water, or it might come in a pre-mix version that is mixed 50% water, 50% antifreeze. In the winter, you always want to make sure that your cooling system is performing properly so that you can have both heat in the cab of your vehicle as well as to protect the engine on these cold mornings. This is Dennis, and that's what's happening at Accurate today.